was accepted into American Ingenue in New York City. Once upon a time, there was a boy. Daddy! Daddy, you'll never guess who's here. Huh? Bobby Shore. Show it up here, baby doll. Bang, 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 bang. I mean, it all started from I guess the original genre that I was sort of playing with was like a musical, like an Elvis musical. But other than that, like any other genre stuff that creeped in there, it was never, I was never thinking I want to have this play with that genre or I want to play with that genre and I'm going to try to find a way to put them together. It was always something that sort of kind of made sense for the story. So it would, as I was writing it and developing it, um, you know, I never thought of it as sci-fi until Tip called it sci-fi, but I, it makes sense. Um, but it just, yeah, it was just sort of, the ideas kind of emerged from the story, like the genre tropes and stuff, I felt came out of the story more so than me trying to impose them. So hopefully that is what kind of makes it feel like a cohesive piece. I think the danger in, in making kind of surreal worlds and you can lose track of kind of what's actually connecting your audience to it. and like great visuals and interesting stuff like that only go so far, but I'm very conscious of how I'm taking the audience through that world. And sometimes I do it better than others, but I think you know the only way people buy into that world is through the, mostly the characters, like the characters are who you connect with. Have you noticed seeing some strange things lately? No, I haven't. I'm afraid there's been a leak at the purple mist plant. There are these chemical fumes permeating the town that could potentially cause human mutations. Wake up. I know you're confused, but you, you've got to get it together. Wake up. Not really much to live for anymore, is there? Wake up. I think the first thoughts I had were about how funny it actually was. A lot of the dialogue I found to be hilarious. Everything that Bobby Shore said was some kitschy, sometimes offensive <laughs> statement. And that was the first thing I was attracted to. I also was sent, along with the script, a lookbook with refer photo references, music videos, other films, a picture of a baby with an elephant snout. And I, I knew that it was gonna be a very stylized film and I was attracted to that as well. I had to make sure that I had a clear idea in my head of Sefi's journey to be able to get, make choices, you know what I mean? That, um, otherwise I would just be swimming in this world of pur purple mist. We're all lost and alone in a mad and fever dream, man. Wake up. You go.